Hello YouTube, it's me Canadian Alien. I'm back. Now, uh, now to keep your heads up. Has been added. My last video, I uh, when I was talking about Canada, it was like five minutes when I started talking about problems in Canada because I honestly didn't know what to talk about. This can definitely but now I can't right now. I did a bit of research. I know that video. Uh, kid on crack or something. Like that. I I remember that video. Kill that. Well, eventually, now let's talk about. I'm gonna talk about uh, problems in the earth. Well, let's just talk about Ebola for today. Talking about different problems in the earth would be a little bit too long to talk about. It'd probably take like 20 minutes to talk about it. So, this video might be a bit long, so if you make it alive through this video, uh, hats off to you. Fucking engineer! Hello. What a ray. What a hillbilly. What a hillbilly. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, walk naturally around here. Yeah, this panel's falling. Oh no, I think some is falling. You better F off, dude. Yeah. Hey! Hey! Yeah, that's what I thought, you little. Oh. How the hell does that happen? Uh, how the hell does it happen? Sorry. Uh, screen may freeze up right now. One minute, I've been recording. About a minute. <coughs> so, Ebola. Uh, one of the most most common disease diseases or virus I don't know how you call it I know short form for Ebola is E V D E V D Ebola virus disease I know the E stands for Ebola V is virus I, I think V is for disease Ebola <coughs> is very well known really known people make jokes about it it's not really a much of a laughing matter it's very very serious. Oh my god. It's very, 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 very serious. I, I'm not in my best player mood today. I'm very tired, really tired. Um, well, eventually, the ball is very bad. Uh, you only live for about 6 to 16 days. You survive 6 to 16 days, you're gonna be like one of the most luckiest people in the whole freaking world. Or I think it's like six to sixteen days, or two to twenty-one days. Twenty-one. You guys seen that van right now? Plus ten. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Yep. Well, the symptoms usually begin with a sudden influenza-like stage characterized by feeling tired, fe—I think that's all open. Fever and uh, vomiting and diarrhea. Uh, if you actually have a fever, uh, back off. Back off. Oh my god. You're not gonna survive, man. Hey, I know it. I'm prepared. What a stoop. What a stoop. The pain in the muscles and joints, headache and sore throat. The fever is usually higher than 38.3 degrees Celsius. That's Canadian, right? 100 100.9 degrees Fahrenheit, America. America. Fuck yeah. Yeah, buddy. This is what happens when you get close to a pyro. That's what I thought. After that, this is often followed by vomiting, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. Then after that, shortness, shortness, after that is a uh, shortness of breath and chain pass, pain, chain, chest pain, along with swelling, headaches, and confusion. In about half of the cases, the skin may develop a maculopopular, maculopopular rash, a flat red area covered in small bumps. 
This typically begins to five to seven days after the first symptoms. All infected people show some decreased blood clotting. Bleeding from viscose membranes or from sites of needle punctures has been reported in 40 to 50 percent of cases. This may result in the vomiting of blood, coughing up blood, or blood in stool. Bleeding into the skin may create petechiae, purpura, ecchymosis, or hematomas. Hematomas. I don't know how you pronounce it. Okay. Especially in your new injection cells. Bleeding into the whites of the eyes may also occur. Heavy bleeding is uncommon, and if it occurs, it is usually located with the gastrointestinal tract. Uh, I don't know. Sorry if the screen freezes again. I'm having problems. My recording is in my recording. Yeah. I've, been, I've been talking for like six minutes now. So pretty much at this, uh, I think I should continue the video. We have about four more minutes. I'm done with. So about that, at this point, you should already know you have Ebola. All these signs and symptoms I'm telling you, you should know that you have Ebola by then. Those who survive, so let's say you survive everything. Did you survive this two to twenty-one days or six to sixteen days? I don't know. If you are if you know so much about science and you better know what I'm talking about, if you don't, then you might want to look these words up. Because what I want to tell you is, you be wordy, but also I'm really very wordy. What I mean by wordy is that there's a lot of words that you might not understand. So, wait, just give me one second. What was that? Something about, uh. Alert! The control point is being contested. So, you might be recovered in maybe about 7 and 2 14 days. After the start of the symptoms, death, if it also occurs, typically 6 to 16 days from the start of symptoms and is often due to low blood pressure, from for loss. Let's go, let's go, let's go. People are often in a coma near the end of their life. So, when you're after after you have these symptoms and signs, like I told you, symptoms and signs, I mean, uh, I would explain it, that uh, after these things happens to you, or happens to a person, they go into a coma basically. And that's, that's, the way. that's pretty much how you're gonna lay. Lay that down there. It doesn't work. Now, let's say you survive. You survive a bullet. You survive. You survive. First of all, you're like one of the most luckiest man or, man or woman on earth. Not only that, but you're gonna live forever. Not forever until you die of another sickness or illness. Uh, or you get murdered. Uh, uh, to be honest with you, we all have the end of our life. We all know that we're not gonna live forever. It's kind of sad. Sorry if I play man. Like I said, uh, um. I'm very tired. Oh yeah, and I don't play uh, TF2 that much. Anyways. Those who survive often have ongoing muscle and joint pain. So you survive, you have ongoing muscle and joint pain. Technically, this is function. At the same time, they're trying to defend your point, but the point's right in front of the freaking beast. Like standing on ground until that. Well, you die like at least 30 times, but you get the keys. So, those who survive with the level of inflammation and decreased hearing, among other difficulties. Uh, uh oh, spine. Backwards. Oh, 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 o
Oh my god! So how else to survive? Like I said, liver inflammation. You might have liver inflammation when you survive. And you have decreased healing among other difficulties, so you won't be able to heal as much as you used to. Additionally, they develop. Uh, additionally, you, let's say you survive. Additionally, you develop antibodies against Ebola, and the that lasts at least ten years. But Ebola that lasts at least ten years, but it is unclear if they are immune to repeat infections. If someone survives Ebola, they can no longer transmit disease. The oh. disease. So you survive Ebola. Uh, the control point Holy is hell being yeah. Captured. Ebola. I so I okay. Screen my freezer right here. Ebola. Yeah. I'm about to finish. I'm about to finish off the video. Ebola. Hell yeah. I survived it. Another factor. So eventually you have you have all these symptoms. Like I said, after uh, you survive Ebola, you have after you survive Ebola, you have those symptoms that I just told you. Uh, muscle and joint pain, liver inflammation, and diffuse hearing, which also diffuse hearing, uh, less hearing. You survive, like, hell yeah. Then you can never get Ebola again, which is great. But then you also have that. Oh, he's trying to bring me to a such easy. Pull it up, pull it up. Yeah. So, but then you will never have Ebola again, so you go to another person with Ebola. You won't get it again, you're a the lucky man. So you can go to a person with Ebola and like, I have Ebola, I'm dying! And you say, come try giving me Ebola. It will never happen to me again because I survived the Ebola. And the other person who has Ebola is gonna be like, I'll give you a ball. Just wait and see. And then the person spits on you. And you won't have a ball. You'll be a happier one. Eventually, to those who don't have a ball. I mean, it's actually trying to get into that situation. Chat, don't think I'm dumb. Don't, don't think I'm dumb. You're not well that means we're on new to the list. So also it's a new one. Oh my god! Also so new um We're immune to a bowl we could get a bowl and all that stuff. <sighs> if you survive the bowl, you're gonna be a badass, you're gonna be showing off. Like I survived a bowl, everyone's gonna ask your secret. And then you tell them the secret on not how to survive a bowl and people give you one million dollars for telling you the secret. Uh, if I were to survive a bowl, I'd be a freaking badass. I'd be screaming in one's faces like, I got a bowl, I fought a bowl, but I don't know. A bowl, did not win. That guy is a freaking spy, get him away from me. Oh my god. You see, I'm telling you, these people are trying to bring me to a trap. Okay, after this round is over, I'm going to. Oh my, this screen's going to freeze about now. After this round, I'm going to stop the video. Why not just stop it here? To be honest, this video is going to go on to 16 minutes if I, uh. If I don't stop here. You know what? I'm going to last up. I'm going to last around, boy. Boy. But so we're just talking about a ball, huh? Um, I don't think you'll know anyone who has a ball. Because I don't think you go nowhere near the person. You're gonna have to be like 35 million thousand yards away. Okay, guys, we're gonna charge in like maniacs. Charge in, bro! Alright, there's no one uh, Surprisingly. Now yeah, we're charging in! Oh my god! Oh. We fought till death. Oh, I'm expecting my body, yeah, let's go. Oh, then that be hard. See the edge, I guess. Alert. The control point is being captured. We're only one guy, so um yeah. Okay. Uh, before I start saying my bye-byes, 
and right, like, go. Like, I don't, sorry if I don't, uh, put, um, where is it? Sorry if I don't, uh, post much videos. I only post about, like, once a month, which is kind of stupid. And I tried telling myself in, like, the first video, I'd post, like, every two weeks. Or every week. Stupid me. That's mostly because I don't, first of all, I don't play TF2 because I know I'm actually really bad in real life. You see, my guy is actually decked out. I didn't worry about. I'm decked out of, uh, of, uh, miscellaneous hats because I love to trade, to be honest. Like, I spend most of my time. You're dead, bro. You're dead. Oh, oh, these two guys are dead. You're dead, bro. You're dead. Time has been here. Okay, yeah, as I was saying, uh, if you make it a live to this video, hats off to you, hats off to you, I applause you, I applause you, because you will not only be like a record, world record person, but you'll be like one of the best people alive, because nobody watches my videos, nobody watches my videos, and I don't spam either, because first of all, I know I'm shit, I'm really shit, first of all, I know that, <clears throat> I have shit gone really shit at videos. And second of all, I'm kind of, I'm like, like, I don't post videos that much, and people look for people. People look for other people. To post videos like every week. Like PewDiePie, he has like 30 million subscribers. Like, if he has a freaking poll population of freaking Canada. Yeah, Canada has a very few people, 30 million, probably like 30 million, I guess. Our control point is being captured. Oh, so post in the comments below. I can improve my uh my videos. But this is by I can't do anything. I need it. I don't have. Oh yes. Our control point is being captured. Post in the comment section below and how to improve my videos with like um be more entertaining, do more funny videos like I love making jokes but it's more like um I don't want to force myself but it just comes naturally. Just naturally. I don't force myself because I don't want to make horrible jokes. Oh that guy's a spy right there, what the fuck? What a stoop, what a stoop. What a stoop. You're dead. You're dead. Oh, god damn it. Well, please post in the comment section below. How can I make my videos better? Like, be more entertaining, not be in a boring voice. And that's pretty much it. My freeze about now. I've been recorded for 20 minutes. Jesus Christ, about 20 minutes. Holy god, holy god. Are you kidding me? If you if you actually made it alive to this whole video, I'm literally gonna applaud you. Like, hats off to you. Literally, hats off to you. You survived a freaking 20 minute video. Jesus Christ, dude. Jesus. I wouldn't even survive my own freaking video because I know I'm boring as hell. But, you know, please do it in the comment section below. As always, I'm an AZ people. Canadian alien out.